Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. Very familiar passage of scripture, one that I think that a lot of the saints would claim that it is their life verse. Listen to what the word of the Lord says. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned nor shall the flame scorch you. Listen to the promise of God as he speaks to the children of Israel, reminding him that he is their God, that he is their redeemer, that he is their God. And that he will always be with them. And when they face the, the fiery trials of life, God is right there saying that when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. Yes, we will face trials and tribulations in this lifetime, but we shall overcome because God is with us. And even when we face the, the, the fiery trials of life, they shall not burn us. They shall not consume us. We won't even be scorched. This promise was actually, you would say, fulfilled in the lives of three young Hebrew boys by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were cast into the fiery furnace, that the furnace, the fires did not burn them, nor, but nor was there even the, the, the stench of, 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 of burnt, of flames on their clothing when they took them out, because God had protected them. God protects us, provides us for us, that God is with us forevermore, for he promised that I will never leave you, nor forsake you. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. A promise to the children of Israel it is also a promise to us who believe and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. For God has fulfilled all of this through his son. To God be the glory. I pray that you would have a great day as you go throughout the rest of this day and as you prepare for the weekend. And I pray that you would tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse. Amen.